Episode 6, Questions are based on Chapter 3 of the book, Fish Processing Technology in the Tropics. Choose the best answer. What is the key factor in maintaining the quality of fresh fish? A. Proper handling during harvesting. B. Packaging techniques. C. Lowering the temperature. D. Controlling microbial growth. What is the key factor in maintaining the quality of fresh fish? C. Lowering the temperature. Which of the following is the most common practice for keeping the freshness of fish? A. Canning. B. Drying. C. Freezing. D. Chilling. Which of the following is the most common practice for keeping the freshness of fish? D. Chilling. How does chilling affect fish spoilage? A. It stops spoilage completely. B. It accelerates spoilage. C. It has no effect on spoilage. D. It slows down spoilage considerably. How does chilling affect fish spoilage? D. It slows down spoilage considerably. What is the primary method of chilling fish discussed in the text? A. Freezing. B. Refrigeration. C. Wet ice. Icing. D. Salting. What is the primary method of chilling fish discussed in the text? C. Wet ice or icing. How does icing chill the fish catch? A. By direct contact between ice and fish. B. By blowing cold air over the fish. C. By immersing the fish in icy water. D. By using dry ice for cooling. How does icing chill the fish catch? A. By direct contact between ice and fish. What must be done to ensure effective icing of fish? A. Using minimal amount of ice. B. Arranging fish and ice randomly. C. Draining accumulated water, blood, and slime. D. Placing fish with delicate skin at the bottom. What must be done to ensure effective icing of fish? C. Draining accumulated water, blood, and slime. How should ice and fish be arranged to avoid localized heating? A. Placing fish on top of ice. B. Placing ice on top of fish. C. Mixing fish and ice randomly. D. Placing fish surrounded by ice on all sides. How should ice and fish be arranged to avoid localized heating? D. Placing fish surrounded by ice on all sides. What should be done when packing mixed fish? A. Packing big fish on top and small fish at the bottom. B. Packing small fish on top and big fish at the bottom. C. Mixing big and small fish randomly. D. Packing fish with scales on top of fish with delicate skin. What should be done when packing mixed fish? A. Packing big fish on top and small fish at the bottom. How should gutted fish be arranged when using wet ice? A. Belly up in a slanting position. B. Belly down in a slanting position. C. Packed horizontally with ice on top. D. Packed vertically with ice inside the belly cavity. B. 
be belly down in slanting position. What does the use of sufficient ice ensure when chilling fish? A. Maintaining fish temperature below freezing. B. Preventing melting of the ice. C. Achieving a 1 is to 1 ice to fish ratio. D. Slowing down the growth of microbes. What does the use of sufficient ice ensure when chilling fish? D. Slowing down the growth of microbes. What is another term for chilled seawater or ice slurry? A. Frozen seawater. B. Slush ice. C. Marine ice. D. Seawater ice. What is another term for chilled seawater or ice slurry? B. Slush ice. What determines the amount of ice used in chilled seawater chilling? A. Size of the fish catch. B. Length of the trip. C. Quality of insulation. D. Initial temperature of water and fish. What determines the amount of ice used in chilled seawater chilling? D. Initial temperature of water and fish. Which of the following is an advantage of chilled seawater over icing? A. Slower fish chilling. B. Reduced physical damage to fish. C. Longer shelf life of fish. D. Enhanced fish flavor. Which of the following is an advantage of chilled seawater over icing? B. Reduced physical damage to fish. What is one advantage of using chilled seawater over wet ice for chilling fish? A. Faster chilling time. B. Lower cost of materials. C. Improved fish texture. D. Longer shelf life of fish. What is one advantage of using chilled seawater over wet ice for chilling fish? A. Faster chilling time. How are fish in chilled seawater treated during the chilling process? A. They, they are crushed and washed. B. They are packed tightly in containers. C. They are soaked in a slurry. D. They are individually wrapped in ice. How are fish in chilled seawater treated during the chilling process? C. They are soaked in a slurry. What is the primary method of chilling fish on big commercial boats? A. Wet ice or icing. B. Refrigerated air. C. Dry ice. D. Gel ice mat. What is the primary method of chilling fish on big commercial boats? B. Refrigerated air. How is air chilling different from wet ice and chilled seawater chilling methods? A. It requires a longer cooling time. B. It involves direct contact with fish. C. It uses a water-based gel for cooling. D. It is more cost-effective. How is air chilling different from wet ice and chilled seawater chilling methods? A. It requires a longer cooling time. Why should dry ice not be used in direct contact with fish? A. It causes physical damage to fish. B. It increases the risk of water leakage. C. It may cause cold burns. D. It results in a slower chilling process.
Why should dry ice not be used in direct contact with fish? C. It may cause cold burns. Which method of chilling is preferred for air shipment of fish? A. Wet ice, icing. B. Refrigerated air. C. Dry ice. D. Gel ice mat. Which method of chilling is preferred for air shipment of fish? C. Dry ice. What is the advantage of using a gel ice mat for chilling fish during air transport? A. It provides faster chilling than other methods. B. It prevents water leakage during thawing. C. It improves the texture of the fish. D. It allows for easy stacking of fish containers. What is the advantage of using a gel ice mat for chilling fish during air transport? B. It prevents water leakage during, during thawing.